Welcome to Wonderland. It's Ari here, and today is Tuesday, and I am bringing to you a new segment called Topic Tag Tuesday. And it's something where every Tuesday I'm either going to do a topic video or I'm going to do a tag video. And really, it's just something that gives me more to do during the week to post on my book too, because I have Top 5 Wednesday, and then every now and then I post a video, but I want like a, another segment to keep me constant. And I am in my living room area because I just got off of work and I just ate some amazing quesadillas that I made and I really just don't feel like going upstairs. So plus I have to wait for my mother to come home so she could take me to the bank and so I could deposit some checks. So more money in that account for more books, you know, right? Although I set a specific budget for myself so I wouldn't go overboard. But either way, let's get down to Topic Tag Tuesday. Now, this Tuesday is a topic, and it is brought to you by Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Cinder by Marissa Meyer. And because I am like 105 pages in, I know that's very sad because I was supposed to technically start this book last week. But, you know, after finishing Wink Poppy Midnight, it kind of put me in this little moderate slump. So I'll read like a couple of pages and then I'll put it down and watch Netflix, read a couple more pages and then, you know, whatever, put it down and do something else or I don't feel like picking it up. But now I picked it up officially and I'm like 100 pages in or 100 or so pages in, which makes it me, which means that this book is here to stay, which means I am about to finish it. <laughs> and um, I found it really interesting. So the topic for this week is are retellings better than the original now this book is actually a sci-fi fantasy retelling of cinderella but um cinder is the main character she's a gifted mechanic and a cyborg she's a second class citizen with a mysterious past and is reviled by her stepmother but when her life becomes intertwined with the handsome prince kai she suddenly finds herself at the center of an intergalactic Struggle in a forbidden attraction. Caught between duty and freedom, loyalty and betrayal, she must uncover secrets about her past in order to predict, protect her world's future because there is something unusual in, about Cinder, something the others would kill for. So I am like 100 or so pages in, and even though that's not very far in this book because this book is like 300 pages long, I feel like I will get this done like no later than Friday, if anything, because today's Tuesday. So I'll finish this book no later than Friday. And I'm going to read it <laughs> for, like, the rest of the day, rest of the week. Yeah. But um, here's the thing. I was a little skeptical about starting this book. I was actually pressured by most, pe most people in the book community to start this book because everyone has read the Lunar Chronicles. Everyone has loved the Cron Lunar Chronicles. Blah, blah, blah. Makes me get all tongue-tied. And, like... Like, so many people keep talking about it and mentioning, and I'm like, what is this book? And so I looked at all the books, and it's a retelling, and I love reading retellings because retellings is, like, my thing. I think that's my favorite genre, if it's its own genre, I guess. Like, retellings, that's something that I would read all the time. Most of the books I've read are retellings, and they're usually really good. So I was like, huh, a retelling of Cinderella. Now, here's the thing. I do not like Cinderella. Cinderella is not my favorite fairy tale. Cinderella is not my favorite princess, not even my favorite Disney princess. I have so many problems with the tale of Cinderella. First off, in the original and even in the Disney retelling, it makes her look like she cannot stand up for herself. It makes her feel like that she gets, makes it seem like she gets pushed around and she lets people push her around. And it just really, really irks me. Like a woman cannot stand up for herself or cannot tell off another woman, like you're treating me like your slave. I am not your freaking slave. She won't even do that. And one of the things that irks me is that in a couple of Cinderella stories, especially the Disney Cinderella, it shows her meeting the prince for the first time at the ball falling in love for the first time, and then all of a sudden getting married like a couple days later. Not realistic. Very, very irksome. Like, really, really bad to me. Like, ugh, like just, like, you do not marry someone you just met. I mean, in a couple other, like, the live action retelling of Cinderella, it shows Cinderella um, meeting the prince, like, a couple days before, then seeing him again at the ball, and then him tracking her down. So that is a little bit reasonable. Like, there's this attraction there and whatnot or whatever. But um, in, other, in other versions, it's like, 
she just met him and she's already in love with him. Now, I understand you have an attraction to him. I understand that you have this, like, I want to get to know you feeling. Like, let's date. Let's see where this goes. But the fact that you got married, like, a few days later, that's really irksome. There are so many things about Cinderella that I do not like. I think the only thing that I do like about Cinderella is that in the original Grimm story, Brothers Grimm, uh, their stepsisters cut off their toes and their heels to try and fit into the shoe. And that's the one thing I find amusing and most interesting about the, uh, the Cinderella tale. But this book, this book, it's actually got my attention because at first I was a little skeptical. I When I read retellings, I usually stay away from retellings of fairy tales that I'm not really fond of. I read no Cinderella retellings until this book. Like, I'm currently reading this book right now. I read only maybe one or two Snow White retellings, and that's to give them a try. Not really as because I'm a fan of Snow White, and I might read The Shadow Queen or Stitching Snow, but I don't know. It, it depends on, like, me. Like, I don't know. And then I know Winter is, like, the fourth book in the series, so I may give it a try if I end up really loving this book at the end and all the other books a try. Um, but... Let's, let's, here's the thing with this book. This book actually, in a way, redeemed Cinderella. Like, this is the kind of Cinderella I will fall in love with. First of all, she's very independent. She is so, she, like, in the beginning of their book, you find out she's a cyborg. And you know why? Because this is not a major spoiler. It's literally on the first page. She is unscrewing her mechanical foot. That's one thing I found very interesting at the very beginning. I'm like... That's very, what, what? Like, rusted, engraved cross marks and all this other stuff. Like, and I'm like, huh. And then I continue to read it and I find out some things about her. Like, she's very independent, very smart. She pretty much is the breadwinner of the whole household. Like, her stepmother doesn't do anything to make money. Her sisters don't do anything to make money. She is the mechanic. A lot of people know of her. Some people, like, think she's a dude. Like, oh, you're a mechanic. You're supposed to be a dude. But to find out you're a girl, that's really surprising. And then she's, like, this really known, really good mechanic in the book. And she's a cyborg, which is pretty awesome. She's very independent, very headstrong. She really likes to fight for herself. So far is what I'm getting from this book. And... To be even more honest, like, I love the fact that she, that at least one of her stepsisters she has a close relationship to, and she cares for her really, really, like, so much, and the other stepsister is like, I don't like you, and she's like, well, I don't like you, like, <laughs> F you, and then her other stepsister, they're, like, really, really close, and they could confide in each other and everything, and she really cares about her, and I find that really, really nice. She also has this little android sidekick that I really like, even though she's, like, the total... She's like this huge girly girl, but I like that too. And so I'm actually expecting more from this book just from these first 105 pages. Like I'm expecting more. I'm expecting to fall in love with this book. If I do not fall in love with this book, it will really break my heart and it will add to the shelf on like another retell retelling to stay away from. Because again, I do not really like Cinderella, but this book has really made me like at least retellings of Cinderella. Now, the question I have for you all in the BookTube community, in the BookTube world, is do you think retellings are better than the original? Because there are so many original fairy tales and stuff. Like, some of them I like the original way better, like, than how Disney portrays them. And then sometimes the Disney portrayal is better than the original, I guess, because they try to make it more kid-friendly. But some people love it so much like that. Like, I can list a ton of people off the back of my hand who love Elsa from Frozen, even though they haven't even read The Snow Queen or even heard of The Snow Queen, the original tale. So, or they read The Snow Queen but found Frozen to be, like, a lot better or something like that. And some people find the live-action re-versions of, retelling versions of Disney princesses and everything better than the original Disney cartoons. And some people say that they are also better than the original stories. But I don't know. So my question is to you, like, what is your opinion? Like, do you think retellings are better than the original stories? And if so, what retellings are better than the original story? Because to be honest, this is better than Cinderella that I grew up with, the Disney Cinderella, definitely, and the Cinderella from the original tales, because even though the tales get switched around a lot and the details get switched around a lot, so you don't really know the exact story. Most people know the Disney story, and I hate the Disney story. Like, I really do. I hate it so much. 
But what do you guys think? I know a lot of you have read Cinder, so come on, you you could tell me. Like you could tell me, I don't care. But there are I will say there are some retellings that I do not like because they kind of messed up the original. Like one retelling that I personally do not like is Alice in Zombieland and uh, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies because even though I like zombies, we all love The Walking Dead. Come on now. But to add it to Alice in Wonderland or another classic tale just makes it very, very chaotic. And also it really, really like <laughs> mess, messes with the, with the details. And like you just threw zombies in there. It makes me feel like you just threw zombies in there because zombies are popular and you want this book to be more popular. That's what I feel like personally. You don't have to agree with me. You may hate me later for this idea or for this, um, you know, whatever, whatever. But to be honest, like, like that's just my personal opinion. But I will say that I am liking this so far. Now, I had to switch my bookmarks because, you know, this one's a little bit more worn and I don't like taking my nice newer bookmarks out and keep them in my purse and stuff. But, um, yeah. So that is the topic for this week. And if you have opinions or feelings, you can comment down below. And um, be sure to subscribe to me. If you want to see other videos and stuff by me, I have some. Be sure to look forward to a video every Tuesday, which is either topics or a tag video. Next week, I'm probably going to do a tag video. And um, every Wednesday is my top five Wednesday. So be sure to check that out. Um, you can follow me on the internets, on social media and everything like that. Instagram, Twitter, you know, Books Amino, Tumblr, whatever. But um, keep calm and keep reading.